visited an industrial area of Yokohama City, Kanagawa Prefecture. Here's the factory that today's Takumi runs. Hello, I'm Michelle Yamamoto. Hi, I'm Fujisawa from Nito. Today's Takumi is Hideyuki Fujisawa, the head of a metal processing manufacturer. I was told that a wearable chair was manufactured here. What is it like? That would be this. This is the wearable chair. It looks more like the legs of a robot than a chair. How does one sit on this chair? It consists of parts for the feet, shins, and thighs. And it's the shin and thigh parts that support your body as a chair. The device is braced on each leg, then stabilized at the knees and thighs with a belt. Try bending your knees and put your weight on your shins and thighs. Okay. Well, I can sit. It feels really different. Although it looks no different from standing, the user can be in a comfortable position as if sitting on a chair. Sitting and standing is easily done too. You can't imagine that you're sitting down, but you are sitting down. Wow! By dispersing body weight to the knees and thighs, the device stabilizes the body balance. Thus, the user can sit while standing. Once the stopper is removed, the knees can bend freely, allowing the user to walk around. The weight of the device is only 3 kilograms per leg. As the device is bound to each leg, the weight feels like nothing once it's worn. What made you decide to develop this wearable walkable chair? This chair was originally developed for endoscopic surgeons. As patients recover faster with less pain than abdominal operation, the number of endoscopic surgeries has been growing by more than 10,000 cases a year. However, endoscopic surgery takes twice as much time as a conventional operation. Doctors and staff must stand for a long time, increasing the risk of back and knee injuries. At the request of a doctor, the Takumi developed a chair with which the user could rest their legs and back while maintaining a standing posture. The chair also had to allow users to walk, as doctors may change their position during an operation. I thought it would simply prevent pain and fatigue in the knees and feet, but the gentle support at the hip made everything easier. I think stabilizing the lower body helps keep my hands from shaking, too. The Takumi started to develop his wearable chair in 2014. Being a professional in making molds and manufacturing metals, it did not take long for the Takumi to make a prototype. The chair part of the prototype was a metal bar that held the two legs together. The device had no problem as a chair. However, the bar hindered leg movement, making walking difficult. To solve this problem, the Takumi decided to make the two legs independent from each other. The Takumi decided to have the knees and thighs support the body weight, creating a sense of stability similar to that of sitting on a chair. However, yet another problem came up. The hinge part at the knees experienced a load four times that of body weight. The hinge joint includes a protrusion and a dent, which locks its angle and stabilizes the posture. The hinge had to be strengthened to withstand the load. But the Takumi did not want to change its material, as it would make the device heavier. To increase strength without changing weight, we use the technique of tempering. Tempering is a technique that was historically used to make samurai swords. In this process, hardness is achieved by rapidly cooling heated metals. By tempering an alloy of iron and carbon, parts of the carbon 
change into needle-like structures that raise the hardness of the metal. By applying this technique, the Takumi managed to strengthen the knee hinge without making the device heavier. In 2018, the wearable chair was finally completed. This structure that supports the body at the shins and thighs also had unexpected benefits. When standing, the spine forms an S-shape to disperse the heavy load of the head from the hip. However, when sitting down, the spine curves and becomes hunched over, which tends to put a burden on the lower back. The wearable chair's structure was found to make the spine form the same S-shape and reduce the burden on the lower back. The Takumi is now looking to advance to a new field. I think our wearable chairs can be used in many places beyond medical care, such as in industrial fields, nursing, and agriculture, where people must work on their feet. I hope our device can improve the work environment in such fields. And today we have Dr. Sato wearing this special chair. So please slowly bend your knees and try to sit. Um, like this? Yes. Wow. Okay, uh, now I'm sitting and I have to say this really is a strange sensation, but uh, it's very comfortable. It looks like you're still standing, but are you really sitting? Yeah, I'm definitely sitting. Okay, now please try to stand up and walk around. All right. Oh, it's surprisingly easy to walk. Michelle, is this like a power assist suit? It may look similar to a power assist suit, but it's totally different. A power assist suit is a device that supports movements using the power of a motor. But this wearable chair supports the user when they're resting. It makes it much easier to remain still. This chair would make teaching at the university much easier, as instructors have to stand for a long time. I could see it being used in many different fields. Thank you very much, Michelle. So, Dr. Sato, today we looked at food texture and the science behind it. How would you wrap up today's program? Eating is one of the joys of life, and it's something everyone does. So if science and technology could create different food textures for people to enjoy, that would benefit everyone. And that's all for this week's Science View. Thank you for joining us. And see you again next time.